Was Moti Clever or Stupid by Srijaya Chair, Short Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named Was Moti Clever or Stupid by Srijaya Chair, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Modi was a monkey. He did all his housework himself. He always swept his house with his own tail. One day, while sweeping the floor, a thorn got into his tail. Try what may, he could not get it out. He went in search of a barber. Dear barber, a thorn has gotten to my tail. I am unable to take it out. It is very painful. Can you help me? He yeah. asked. Sure, I can do it in no time, said the barber and took out his knife. He pushed his knife as far as possible into the tail of the monkey, but the thorn did not come out. The monkey was very angry as he was bleeding. He screamed and threw the knife on a rock and the handle of the knife broke. Will you give me my knife back or shall I cut your tail? screamed the barber. Okay, cut my tail and give me the knife, Moti screamed back. The barber cut the tail. The monkey managed to contain the blood by sticking some leaves to it and went away with the knife without much fuss. He was hungry and climbed a mango tree and plucked some mangoes to eat. There was a man standing under the tree who begged the monkey to give him some mangoes to eat. The monkey not only gave him the mangoes but also the handle less knife to cut. Being a kind monkey, Modi gave him the mango and also gave him the handle less knife to cut the mango. As the man was cutting the mangoes to eat, he dropped the knife into a pond. Modi was angry. Now what will you give me? You have lost my knife. What have you got with you to give me? Will you take the mangoes? asked the man. Modi agreed and took the cut mangoes back from him. As Modi was proceeding further eating and enjoying the mangoes, he came across an oil seller. Dear, dear monkey, can I have some mangoes? I am very fond of it, said the oil seller. Okay, what will you give me instead? asked Modi. Can I give you some oil? You can use it for today's cooking, he said. That's perfectly okay. Give me some oil in a coconut shell he said humbly. Modi took the oil from the cellar in a coconut shell and went in search of something that he could cook with the oil with. To his luck, he saw an old lady making dosas. A dosa is a kind of muffin on a tava pan without oil, and she was finding it difficult to extract it from the pan. Modi went near her and said, Dear old lady, I have some oil with me which will make it easier for you to remove the dosa from the pan. Come on, take this. You must give me at least four doses in return for the oil, he said. The old lady was happy and agreed. She made three to four doses and kept two more for herself to be eaten later. Modi thanked her and felt satisfied after eating the delicious doses. As he was going about with the packed dosa in a leaf, he came across a man with a big drum and a stick. He was fascinated by it. He volunteered to ask him, dear drummer, will you take these two doses and give me the drum and the stick? The drummer was very hungry and he agreed for the barter. He took the doses and gave him the drum and the stick. The monkey now climbed on top of a tall tree and started to beat the drum with the song. I lost the tail and got a knife. Dom. Dum, Dean beats the drum. I lost the knife and got a mango. Dum, Dum, Doom beats the drum. I lost the mango and got some oil. 
Dum, dum, do beats the drum. I lost the oil and got some doses. Dum, dum, ding beats the drum. I lost the doses and got the drum. Dum, 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 dum. So the Modi was satisfied with whatever happened that day and ran away with glee. This is an ancient folktale of Karnataka. Dosa is a kind of muffin. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.